What is going on guys, Miles here, and in this video we'll be taking a look at some new multiplayer maps for Black Ops 4 which weren't available in the beta. So Black Ops 4 is almost here, it's just under a week away as I'm uploading this video and I'm really hyped for it, it's that time of year and I think Black Ops 4 is going to be a really successful COD and to build up some hype, Treyarch have been releasing some like teasers for some maps uh, in the form of tweets and they've typically been doing a couple of new maps each day, some of them are the remastered maps which we already know such as firing range summit jungle as well as slums but they have also been teasing some maps which we haven't seen before and these videos are fairly short they're about 20 seconds long and rather than making a video every single day covering them I decided to compile all of the new maps which have been mentioned into this one video so let's take a look at the maps which they've been showing. The first one is called Morocco and it's got a little bit of a description saying Rebels in a small Moroccan village are using government military supply planes as target practice as they fly over the surrounding Sahara Desert. And as you can see by this map, this thing reminds me a little bit of District from Call of Duty 4 but also a bit of the map in the Black Ops 4 beta. I think it was called Sea Town or something like that. I feel like this map is kind of a mix between both of them. And if we take a look at kind of the radar of this map, it's not a clearly defined three lane map like most of the maps were in the beta. But from the short clips I've seen, this map seems to be fairly like close quarters and there's a lot of tight angles. So I think you're going to be best off using SMGs and shotguns on this map. The second map we have is called Arsenal and there's also a description for this map which says hostile covert ops on a manufacturing facility of a powerful North American military defense contractor means someone may have stolen the keys to the castle. So this map is based in North America this time rather than Morocco. And the theme of this map seems to be there's this huge building in the center which is going to be the like hot spot of the map and there's a bit of outside area as well but like 70% of this map seems to be just this one huge building which I think will play out in quite an interesting way. This map kind of has the typical three lane system but the middle lane which is going to be the big building is much more defined and prominent than the other two lanes on the top and bottom side of the map which are probably going to be mainly used for just flanking around and trying to get access into this huge building. The third map we have is called Icebreaker and the description for this map says a long lost US nuclear submarine in the Arctic houses a uranium supply which a Russian unit has come to salvage and this map looks quite interesting it is based in the Arctic as you knew from the description but this map seems to be very empty in a sense and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing and I think it kind of will play out similarly to Arsenal because you have this big structure in the kind of like the middle of the map but in this case it's a submarine so this map will cater to like most of the different weapon classes in the game because on the outsides assault rifles and snipers are going to absolutely dominate because it seems to be quite empty but as for the submarine itself, inside this thing it seems to be very close quarters and you're probably going to want to use an SMG and a shotgun. The fourth and final map we have is called Militia and the description says anti-government extremists backed covertly by a Russian cell are stockpiling weaponry in a remote region of Alaskan wilderness near the Burring Strait. And I think in terms of design, this map which they've mentioned is probably one of my favourites out of the ones I've listed in this video. I kind of like the idea of it being based in this Alaskan wilderness where there's nobody else around to like help you out or anything like that and you just have to fight against the other team I think that's a really cool concept and as for the map itself it seems to be very small I'm not sure if I'm just being misled by like the radar but it seems to be a very small map for me there are only a few buildings but I could be wrong as I haven't actually played it yet so they were all of the maps which have been teased by Treyarch over the last few days on their Twitter account and I think most of them looked really good but I can't judge them too much until I've actually played them to see how they actually play out in the game. But this is pretty good news because this means there are a total of 14 maps for Black Ops 4 confirmed at launch and 15 if you include Nuketown which will be coming for free in November and this is better than most of the COD games we've seen in the past few years. I believe Infinite Warfare launched with 12 maps and World War 2 launched with 9 maps but also the 3 maps in war. This time for Black Ops 4 we basically have an extra 2 maps and yes 4 of the maps will be remastered maps at launch but those were some of the best maps in Treyarch Call of Duty in my opinion so I'm not going to complain that they're being remastered. So there we have it, they are some new maps which will be coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 when it's released in just under a week's time. Personally, I'm actually really hyped for Call of Duty this year because I think the multiplayer maps look really good. 
Blackout is obviously going to be really good and I can't wait to see what they do for zombies as well. Let me know what you think of these new maps down in the comments below and if you found the video useful remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more but I'll see you guys in another video.